For this evening, I will speak a little bit about self-confidence, what it represents and how we can simply enhance its awakening, manifest it more and more. Self-confidence is a positive beneficial attitude in which you simply trust in your endowments, qualities, skills, talents, and you make use of them to the degree that it is necessary. Self-confidence doesn't mean that you believe that you can do no matter what. You are very aware of your uh, qualities and um, abilities, capacities, and simply because you know, you are aware that you have them, then you also do something in a practical manner to manifest them. From a certain point of view, we can also think like this, self-confidence is a belief, it's an act of faith. You believe that you, for example, are uh, intelligent, kind, uh, you have practical intelligence, you are um, accepting, tolerant, and so on. Uh, when you do not have self-confidence, it's also an act of faith, but it's a negative act of faith because you simply believe that you do not have those qualities that actually you have. So even if you are endowed with many beautiful qualities because you don't believe in them, you simply will not be able to tap into that specific energy and you'll not be able to manifest them properly or at all. And this is a little bit um, quite a waste of resources uh, and sometimes it's even tragic. So self-confidence doesn't mean that you are cocky, that you are arrogant and that you believe that you are the best in the whole universe. Self-confidence is uh, common sense self-awareness, we can also call it like that, in which you are aware, you are uh, lucid, you have lucidity about your own uh, abilities, and then you believe that you can make use of them to the best of your abilities. So self-confidence is actually an inner attitude that can be trained as almost any other type of positive attitude. So one thing that you can pay attention to is the words that you use because the words we use are actually reflecting very well uh, our uh, internal beliefs so in order to enhance your self-confidence for example you can pay attention how you talk and if you say i will try to please stop saying that because when you say i will try to subconsciously your, your mind believes that to 50% you will fail. So instead of saying I will try to do this or that, you simply say I will do my best to do this. Uh, instead of saying I cannot, many times we say cannot and we didn't even try it. We didn't even give it a try. So instead of saying I cannot, you simply can say, I will give it, a, I will do it and see how it goes. So every time you notice that um, your mind chooses automatically to use words which are program, programming you in a um, uh, detrimental way, stop using them. So stop saying, I will try and instead say, I will do my best and stop saying I cannot and instead say I will do this and see how it works. Uh, another aspect that you can pay attention to is your um, the group of people that you belong to. Also in, when I say a group of people you can also include family colleagues. So in, if in your group of people there are persons who are treating you in not such a good way and they are uh, maybe even joking, telling you ah, you, are, you are just stupid or this, this type of negative suggestions, 
maybe you can concede that uh, having better friends or uh, avoiding the colleagues that you work with if you don't have the possibility of course you'll not just uh, change your job because uh, some of the people are uh, addressing you in that manner. So pay attention a little bit to friends, to colleagues and family, how they speak to you, because also the words they use when they speak to you, especially if you believe them, you will transform those uh, negative suggestions into self-suggestions and it will become a self-fulfilled prophecy because you believe in it. Another aspect that is um, sometimes or actually many times affecting in a negative way our self-confidence are fears. We all have uh, fears because of many reasons. Uh, innate fears, so fears that are in our, uh, in our original design, are the fear of uh, sudden noises and the fear to fall. All the other types of fears that we experience, we constructed them uh, consciously or unconsciously. So when you notice that you have uh, fears, you can do a very simple technique. I know it will sound a little bit funny, but believe me, it works like a charm. So you can take pieces of paper and write down one fear on one piece of paper. So write down all your fears and hopefully you don't have so many. And then you fold the pieces of paper and you put them in a transparent jar with a tight lid. So you will have the jar somewhere in your home and every time you pass by and you see the jar, you will think, now I have you under my control. Because until you will get rid of the fears, the fears will have you under their control. So after a while, when you notice that, um, wait a minute, I'm not afraid of uh, dogs. We can take it as an example. I'm not afraid of dogs anymore. You search in the jar. You take out the piece of paper in which you wrote, I'm afraid of dogs. And you simply burn it. And while you burn it, you will also have this clear visualization and intention that your fear of dogs is gone forever. It's gone. So this is also something which will help a lot in building up a strong self-confidence. Another, another aspect that you can, or another technique that you can do, when you, for example, are in a situation and uh, you feel pressed, anxious, stressed, uh, you feel that you do not cope with that situation uh, very well, you can just stop for a minute and you can imagine that you stand on the moon and you look at yourself on the earth in that particular situation. If you are very good with visualization, when you will imagine that you stand on the moon looking at yourself on the earth in that situation, it's so ridiculously small that it will lose its grip upon you. So uh, you even start laughing when you understand that actually that situation seems that uh, very troublesome just because you gave it those proportions. So this is also something very easy to do and it will help a lot with self-confidence. You can also do if you are um, prone, if you are good with the visualization techniques, you can, for example, imagine yourself five years in the future from that moment and look back at the situation that you are into right now, for example, when you are in a tense situation and imagine yourself being five years in the future, looking at you now. Again, you'll realize that the situation is smaller than it seems to be right now. That is gone, it's in the past. So you will realize that everything will pass and therefore it doesn't have to have that dramatic effect upon you. So you will simply take it lighter and uh, you can also have a little bit of fun with it in the, in the same time. Humor. 
humor is one of the best universal panaceum. You can simply uh, laugh at the situation. You can also laugh at your reaction. Not You don't have to, you shouldn't laugh at you, but laugh at your mental process, at your fear. Uh, you can laugh at that attitude that put you in a state in which your self-confidence is shaken. So uh, humor is a very good, very good medicine which works uh, miracles if you practice it on a daily basis and also you will feel much better. Uh, not only that you will have better self-confidence, but you will also feel better, generally speaking. Another thing that you can do in order to enhance self-confidence is uh, something which you can call programming your subconscious mind. So whenever you want to uh, improve your self-confidence, you can work with uh, what are called affirmations. So instead of saying uh, something which is having a negative connotation, like for example, I am not afraid, our subconscious mind doesn't register negation. So it's much better to say I'm courageous. So you have to understand this principle and work with it no matter what affirmation you will use. And also repetition is very good. Two moments which are very good uh, in order to perform the programming of your subconscious mind is right after you wake up in the morning and right before you fall asleep in the evening because the doors, so to say, to our subconscious mind are open. So any type of suggestions that you have then will function quicker, more efficient and in a shorter time. So therefore also pay attention in the evening, what are your last thoughts? Because you have negative thoughts, your subconscious mind will get programmed with them and will do its best to make them happen. So in the morning, while uh, just before you wake up completely or in the evening, just before you fall asleep completely, work with some positive affirmation. And because now we speak about self-confidence, you can simply say, I have an unshakable self-confidence. Another aspect which is important to do is to repeat this a little bit monotonously uh, until you wake up completely in the morning or until you fall asleep in the evening. And you will see that after not so many days or weeks, you will notice an increase, an improvement in your self-confidence. Regarding self-confidence, it is also important to understand that self-confidence implies believing or having confidence in yourself, not in your personality, not in your um, build up masks or defense mechanisms, but in the self, in the divine spark that we all have inside of us. So when you have confidence in the self, not in yourself, if you understand what I mean, it will also um, somehow lead to a shift which will do miracles. So self-confidence implies that you have faith, that you trust that the qualities you are endowed with are there and you can manifest them and make the best use of them. And you do not trust something which is um, short time which is uh, ephemeral, which will end at a certain moment. So the self, the divine self never ends and that you can trust definitely. So pay attention whenever you are in a situation and you feel that you do not have enough self-confidence. A very simple and practical manner to approach it is to ask why? What, what is hindering me from uh, trusting myself from having this uh, unshakable confidence and faith in the qualities that I have. And it may be a fear, it may be a doubt, no matter what it is. Uh, you, you can process a little bit quicker the information and then come to the conclusion that actually you can trust the qualities you have in order to 
uh, cope with the respective situation or challenge or relation or whatever it is in a good manner. Also something that you need to pay attention to, self-confidence is um, developing, evolving in the same pace with you. So let's take as a, as a scenario, right now you have a very good self-confidence. But we as humans, we progress, we evolve, we transform on a constant basis. Some people transform a little bit, uh, um, it takes longer time. Other people transform in a quicker pace. No matter the case, we transform nevertheless. So you will notice that it's like an upwards spiral when we evolve and transform. And therefore, we also need to check with our self-confidence so that we bring it to the next level every time we progress, every, every time we transform to the better, every time we evolve a little bit. So without self-confidence, we cannot manifest the qualities we really have and we really are endowed with. Without self-confidence, we cannot speak about progress or success, no matter if it is the private life or the professional life. So self-confidence is the base for success and success, uh, it can mean different aspects depending on our perspective upon it. But no matter the perspective, self-confidence is absolutely necessary in order for us to achieve success in our private life and in our uh, professional life. And self-confidence is not based on imagining that we have some qualities that we don't. So self-confidence is based on a realistic, lucid, objective view uh, and awareness of our qualities that we have right now. So I hope that you got some value from this and some practical tips that you can apply. And I really wish for you to develop your self-confidence more and more. And also, you will notice that when you have a strong self-confidence, you don't need to brag about it. You don't need to prove anything because you know that you have these qualities, so you simply manifest them and use them. So therefore, a very strong self-confidence also goes hand in hand with uh, humbleness and modesty. Uh, people who are um, playing uh, a role, who are uh, just uh, showing off, many times they have uh, a little bit of inferiority complexes. So self-confidence is not imagination, is not showing off, is not arrogance. Uh, self-confidence is not a big ego. Self-confidence is a modest awareness, lucid awareness of our innate qualities, realistic view upon our qualities. I wish you a stronger and stronger self-confidence, which will be able to support you in your life, no matter which beneficial uh, aspects you want to develop and which uh, marvelous things you want to do.